Hey guys, welcome back to Archangel RC. Now today I have an exciting new product. It's a full HD video transmission system from Aeonway. It's called the Nexus and this is version 1. Now it comes with antennas and uh, no cables whatsoever. So you will have to provide those. And as for the antennas, uh, we'll get to this. Um, they're not really meant for this system. This system actually works on the 500 megahertz band. And the antennas that it comes with are meant for the 5.8 gigahertz band. So that's quite a difference. So I wouldn't use them on this system. So I made my own antennas. But we'll get to that. So, uh, this is the transmitter unit. It's got a small fan in it. And uh, the uh, channel changing uh, deep switches are on the bottom uh, near the connector. Uh, this is the receiver unit. No fans on it. Doesn't get hot. Uh, the channel changing switches are on top. Uh, connector and power on the bottom as well as the status LEDs. Now, first impression. These units are manufactured very nicely and we come to the antennas that's an antenna for 5.8 gigahertz not 500 megahertz so i wouldn't recommend using these if these are the antennas that you get with your system if you order it but 5.500 megahertz is not legal in most countries so let me show you how this works when you power the receiver on, both LEDs will light up and the red one is power, the blue one is signal. So when the blue one is on, it's getting signal. When it goes off, uh, no signal is coming in. So, uh, yeah, signal in when the blue, the blue LED is on, signal out when it's off so uh, you can troubleshoot. Um, yeah, and when it comes to the transmitter, make sure you turn the camera on first, at least I do so, it's always a good practice to do so, and when you power it up, both LEDs will light up. The blue one will blink for a while, uh, then it will cut out, and will start blinking again. This is the initialization process, and what's weird about this, these units, so basically the uh, blue LED blinking means it's working properly, it's getting a video signal and it's transmitting as it should be. So uh, if you're getting that, then you're good. Uh, you can power these with up to 6S, although they, the, tr the transmitter does get pretty hot on uh, 3S, so I wouldn't do 6S. So if the camera disconnects for some reason or runs out of battery, uh, blue LED will uh, light up and then will go out until it receives a valid signal again. So uh, make sure you're familiar with these uh, statuses. And uh, one more thing, this system will not change channels while it's working. So if you uh, change the dip switches to change a channel while the system is on, it will not work. You have to restart both the transmitter and the receiver to uh, get the system working and changing the channel. And I have to tell you the transmitter unit does get pretty hot. Uh, after almost yeah, two minutes of working, it was at over 50 degrees. So this was my initial test. My wife here is having uh, some fun with the camera. So I have my Sony uh, shooting at the TV and I have the receiver wired to the TV at home. and. I have my uh, Firefly 6S camera connected to the transmitter unit and transmitting uh, I have it powered from a battery so I'm gonna walk around the neighborhood for a while uh, you know just preparing to uh, exit <sighs> checking on the dog for a second and out we go so first thing I did was uh, to make my way out to the other side of the building uh, di diagonally and you can see there's some interference but you will see right now the 
orange dot at the bottom of the screen is where the TV set is. The yellow line is my uh, track and the yellow dot is where I was. So diagonally through the whole building with so-so uh, antennas that I made for 572 megahertz. I was getting a pretty good signal and uh, you know some interference but that's through a whole building made of bricks and uh, reinforced concrete so I'd say that's pretty good performance so next I tried to I walked around the block to see what will happen and uh, you know not surprising at all uh, it goes through one building but uh, probably reflections help as well but doesn't really cope well with two buildings so signal was lost when I uh, uh, walked behind the second building I made my way to the red point at which point uh, signal came back on uh, so I don't know this made me hopeful and really impressed me I mean pushing that signal through a whole building I can't go through three walls on 5.8 with a directional antenna and on the antennas here get pushed me through a whole building so feeling optimistic I mounted the system on my Skywalker Eve 2000 plane uh, thankfully the ultralight HDMI cables arrived just the day before so I wasn't burdened by having to use a full uh, full range full scale like a proper HDMI cable and uh, I'm going to power this uh, from the same battery I used to power my uh, analog video system uh, I did do some more uh, taping of the camera and the uh, transmitter unit just in case I don't want to lose them in flight and you can see the uh, antennas I made there uh, there from the Arling system so uh, let me show you uh, just how laggy the system is not as laggy as some people might expect uh, now first test with the uh, camera connected uh, via HDMI directly to the TV uh, you can see there is some delay but not a lot uh, what strikes me as odd though is that the HDMI out quality of this camera is not very good I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it on the screen here but when I look at the TV directly it's not very impressive so now that you've seen the lag without a video system uh, now I'm going to connect the receiver and I'm going to uh, go through the video system alright so I always uh, power the receiver first and when you plug in the transmitter there is some delay uh, and the camera needs to be powered first at which point it will start working but don't panic here in a few seconds it will freeze you will get a no signal thingy this is usually the moment when it changes channel if you've changed channels between the restarts and that's about the amount of lag you will get I would say it's about half a second um, not sure exactly but looks to me like half a second certainly not one second and <clears throat> yeah did a lot of that I also did test uh, if lag increases if the camera is recording and this might be totally different if you're using another camera GoPro will probably work better uh, now I uh, started the camera recording and I'm not sure if if the lag increased I'm not sure but it's definitely still under a second now I know uh, racer guys will say oh that's totally unusable that's crap blah 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 but really when you're flying a plane uh, you know 500 meters high five kilometers away a second delay uh, if you know that your plane is sound and it's not gonna tip stall a second delay uh, not really a big issue at least not for me so now that these tests were done it was time to head to the flying field uh, and since I don't have a monitor capable of receiving an HDMI cable I had to borrow one from a friend and because it doesn't have a DVR I have to use the same scheme here my Sony is recording the screen 
and I'm flying looking at this screen and also looking at my analog video because I'm running both at the same time because I don't want to risk uh, depending only on the HD system so this is my OSD from the uh, from the analog system and as you can see uh, radio strength at the top left uh, looks good uh, middle right uh, the satellites eight satellites uh, around midday not sure if that's optimal so I do think the system may be interfering a little bit with the GPS unit <clears throat> and it's quite powerful it's 500 milliwatts and that's confirmed I had that tested it's 500 milliwatts uh, and so <clears throat> I have to start the recording of the Firefly camera. Uh, not much of a battery left there, but didn't have time to charge it. <clears throat> so, so far so good. Controls were working, uh, analog video was working, GPS had signals, so pretty much had no reason not to try it. And after a perfect takeoff, uh, we are off. Now, I have to mention here the gyro stabilization of the picture of the Firefly is working pretty nicely uh, it almost appears as if the camera the Firefly is on a gimbal when it actually is not uh, this is the gyro thing stabilizing the picture and this is the problem I ran into with this system now it was able to push a signal uh, through my building like diagonally the longest bit of the building but when I came here to fly and I gained some altitude, the connection started dropping out and there is some interference. You can see the, um, pix you can see it pixelate, but at some point at about 300 meters out, it just drops dead, freezes and that's it. And it doesn't come back until I really make it back uh, close to the takeoff point just take a look at this BAM done this is it it's not like a gradual decrease in the quality it just stops you know with some interference and I think the uh, uh, I think the um, digital transmission like for HD TV broadcasting is really interfering it and if you look at the GPS on the right here you can see the number of satellites really going up and down and uh, I do feel like this is interfering with the GPS a little bit and uh, this is how it regains uh, the connection when I make it back almost on top of myself uh, signal comes back I uh, lower altitude a little bit and I try to go in that same direction again uh, for a bit and it drops again around 300 meters so I was a bit disappointed actually, but I, I, I do assume that there probably is a lot of interference from the HD broadcast towers around uh, in the city. So next weekend I'll be going out of the city in order to test uh, where, the, where the HD signal, um, like TV signal, would be lower and there'll probably be less interference I may play around with the frequency see if I can get better results on another frequency but so far um, not really impressed with this having to uh, fly within 300 meters of myself in order to have any signal whatsoever in the city uh, now a system of that power and that illegal frequency is not really supposed to be used in a city uh, but yeah I'll try it uh, this coming weekend I will try outside of the city we'll play around with the frequencies and see if I can get a better result and we'll let you know but this is what I've done so far and these have been my results so far and uh, <clears throat> just to show you again the GPS and how important it is that you have a GLONASS GPS look right there on the right it dropped down to four satellites and that has never happened before if there's like no malfunction of the GPS or some serious obstruction it could be that the uh, Firefly camera is mounted on top of it and that's affecting it but I can't really say 
all I know is plugged in the system and the GPA is not working as well as well as it should be and this is not a GLONASS GPS it's um, Neo 7 or something so the system looks wise is absolutely stunning and perfect antennas stock antennas are crap so you will have to uh, make your own if you can't source 500 megahertz antennas from anywhere and uh, it did look like it has potential and this coming weekend I will test it and see if it has potential and I will let you know in another video update so uh, that about concludes this video if you liked it uh, like it and uh, if you haven't already uh, you could subscribe to my channel and you can also visit my blog at arcsangelrc.blogspot.com and I will see you later.